Hello guys, so welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Yves Kipondo. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you another practice test which you can use to practice for the RHCSE, which is stand for Red Hat Certified System Administrator. Previously, I created a video where I show you how to manage and manage storage, local storage. In this video, I will show you how to to practice for the another RHCC objective which is I'll go on the page of objectives so today I will work on the just the following objective which is create and configure file system so on this objective there are many bullet point as on the previous one there is the first one is create mount and mount and mount and use vfat xt4 and xfs file system the second one is mount and unmount network file system using nfs the third one is configure auto fs the fourth one is extend existing logical volume so in the previous video i show you how to work with lvm and the fifth one is create and configure set group ID directory for collaboration. And uh, the last one is diagnose and correct file system permissions. So I will show you now the questions which I create. So there are different questions. I won't go through all questions. Just we'll start going on each, on each question as we evolve with the practice. So I've uh, set up my server. So last time we use the storage server. This today we also use the storage server and another server which I created the server one. And for requirement, you must have a one server with an additional external disk of five gigabyte and another server which will use as a NFS client. So I will go on that server. So I'll open my storage server. There is uh, already a, a storage of 5 GB, which I've already had it, this one. So as you can see, it's 5, G, 5 gigabytes. So I will close this and I will connect remotely on that one. So I will open my terminal. I'll just increase the size of the windows. So I will try to ping my storage server 172.25.2250.10. If you remember in my previous video, I will link, I will just put the link in the description or at the right, at the left side of the video, you can find that. And it, I can reach that server. So I'll try to connect on that SSH minus L. The user which I connect with is Eve. And I'll put the IP address 25250.10 and the password is password. Okay, I'm connected and I will go as a root to you. So whenever you want to manage storage, you must connect it as the root user because the user user can manage all block device. So I will use sudo su dash press enter and the password of the if user and actually I'm connected as root user. I will start by listing all block devices. So I'll do lsblk which will list all block device and I'll search for the block device which has 5 GB actually is sdb. In the previous video where I did I talked about manage local storage i use uh, sdc and sdd so in this one we'll use sdc as the disk which have 5 gb as the requirement says i will uh, go on the first question the first question says create a partitions of one gigabyte and create vfat file system on it and mount it at mount vfat 
using the UID. So the first thing to do, as I know there is a directory where I must mount that, I'll just check if that directory exists. I will increase the size of my 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 the policy of my terminal, and I will check if that directory exists. Mount vfat. It doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, I'm just I can just create that with mkdrr p, and I'll use exclamation mark dollar to use the last parameter of my previous command instead of typing the entire path. Okay, if I check again, you can see the director exists now. And uh, so we go create one gigabyte and create a VFAT file system on it. So I'll go, I'll do fdisk minus fdisk dev sdb. First thing when you are managing block device you must check if there is any pre-partition on that so i'll do p so actually there is no any partition and the partition table type is uh, dos or mbr so i would create the first partition which will be of one gigabyte i'll press n the partition type will be primary i will left it like it is the number will be one and the first sector I will left it like it is by default. And the size of that is 1 GB, 1 G, 1 plus G. And uh, so there is some uh, alert here. I can just ignore by pressing yes. And if I do P, we can see we have one partition of one gigabyte and uh, that's all for the first question i will write that and save and exit and now if i use uh, again uh, lsblk i can see under the sdb i have one partition sdb1 and in the question it said create a vfat file system on it so i will try to create file system mkfs.vfat that command doesn't exist actually so if you want to find a command which doesn't exist you can just use dnf search on the repository d provides so it be start i'll search for everything which has mkfs dot vfat so you can see it is in the package name those fs tools so i'll install that i'll do dnf install dash yes those fs tools that will install the the package dns those fs tools and i'll check now if i do mkfs vfat dash dash help so that command exists now and now i can proceed and format that file system okay do mkfs dot vfat also i will specify a a block device with a partition which i want to to format sdb1 so it's already completed i will check that lsblk and pl and plus dash f to list for file system type if i go and check i'll increase just the windows if i go and check under the sdb you can see the file system type is uh, path okay now i can mount that on under i can mount that under the directory which i create previously so i'll do v so one important thing on the exam, every configuration must be persistent. So for that, I will do just put it direct in the etc file, v in the fstab file, and I'll do dev sdb1, mount it on mounts, vfat, the partition type is fat, and uh, I'll try with vfat and uh, 
option will be default zero zero i've explained all two parameter in the, my previous video so you can go and check that but if i do find mnt dash dash verify to check if there is no error in my mount file so actually there is not any error and if i do df minus h there is no that folder and i'll do mine mount a and if i call again that command you can see we have that folder last block device mounted and i can touch create a file in doubt mount vfat sample.txt and if i do ls minus l or i can do this one minus l so i can find that file for you so that's the first question i'll go with the second question the second question says create partition of one gigabyte and create a xt4 file system on it and mount it at mount xt4 so i'll start by creating the same the directory as my in the previous question p mounts ext4 and uh, i'll do f disk minus f no minus dev sdb i'll print to list partition on that one and i create create one to be primary partition the number will be two the first sector will be by default and the size will be plus one gigabyte and if i do p it lists that partition as well and i'll do write and if i do lsplk dev sdb we can see we have the second partition so we must also create a xt4 file system on that and mount it at xt4 using the label so as there is another contract added which said we must specify a a label on that i will use mkfs dot ext4 dash ext4 dash elf to specify the label which will be my underscore ext4 fs dev stb2 it format that and can, i can go and check that hello i can go and mount that v etc fs tab go at the end i'll use label equal my underscore ext for fs i will mount it at mount mount ext4 the partition type ext4 default and zero zero write it and exit if i do find mnt dash dash verify everything is okay i can do mount minus a df minus h you can see that partition is already also mounted so i'll just switch something on uh, the first question it should be mount using the uid but i mount it using the if i do cut etc or do grep vfat etc fs tab i mount it using the block device id so i'll go and i'll firstly list all id of block device i'll use ls b bell kd for block device id I'll grab that by using grab vfat so I can get I get the UID of that block device. I can copy that or maybe I can just send that to etc fs tab v etc fs tab and I'll go here delete till there and I'll copy this one go and place it here and i will delete this one and delete that one as well and now i can save it find mnt to verify if there is not error there is not any error amount minus a if minus h everything's still the same that's okay 
I'll go now on the so I'll create a file on the patch mount ext4 sample.txt to check that if I can write in that that's okay it work. The third question create a volume group named file store with physical volume of 30 megabyte and create a logical volume of on it of 250 megabyte and create a XFS file system on it, mount it on data. So I'll start by creating the directory mkdir dash no, it's just a simple directory data. And the first thing I'll create a partition of 300 megabytes. So I'll do f disk dev sdb print to see and create an, a new one. I'll use the default one. I use uh, yes, three and first sector. The size will be three megabytes. If I print it, it's okay. And the type is uh, as it is related to LVM, I must change its type to make it LVM. So the third one, I'll first list all partition types so you can see. I will increase my window size. So there is many partition type and I must use uh, LVM. So I'll use, I can specify this E8E. So I'll do 8E. And if I do P again, you can see the third question, the third partition is LVM. I'll write it and exit. And uh, I'll minimize my windows. And uh, so that we create the if partition, we must create it as a physical device, physical physical volume. So I'll do PV create dev stb three. That is the last one, I think. So physical volume dev stb three create successfully. So I'll do f disk dev sdb if i do print okay and if i do minus l so that partition is stb i was just, just i was just checking this one and uh, as i've already created a physical volume i can now create a volume group with v vg create I will specify the name, which is file store, and create a file volume group. Oh yes, create a volume group name file store, and I will specify the dev stb three. If I do vg 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 display file store, so I'll just send error buffer to dev null so you can see we have that volume group which has only one physical volume and the size is two three two hundred ninety six actually and it said create a logical volume on it of 250 megabytes and create a xfs file system on it so i'll do lv create I specify a name which will be I will just create a long random name I will do like files and uh, the size would be 200 megabytes 200 M and uh, I'll create it on the file store volume group so it's great that if I do LVS LVS, I'll just redirect std error to the dev null as well, but as there is many error, so we have this volume, logical, logical volume, and uh, I must uh, create the XFS file system on that. I'll use MKFS. If I, I just press tab, I can search if there is XFS on that. So it's already there, XFS. And 
dev estis no i'll use dev file store file so when you want to format a logical volume you want you didn't format the the block device you format the the logical volume create under the the volume group which you already created so i'll do that press enter it's formatted if i use lsblk so i'll just lsblk with uh, blk i'll press f to list file system type and i'll grab with uh, grab uh, stb3 so you can see it's here and the block id so i'll use ls blk id so it's already there so i'll check is this one so i'll do the tail minus n just to list the last line and, and i will send that to etc fs tab if i do v etc fs tab i can now go down here and delete till you delete double quotes and here i'll press mount it on mount it on data the partition tab is xfs default zero zero right and exit i'll just find mnt again dash dash verify everything seems okay mount minus a if i do df minus h so we have the data which is already mounted i'll create another file on that touch data sample dot txt it exists if i do this one so the file exists okay the i've completed the the third question so i'll go with the fourth question create an extended partition with the remaining space and create on it two gigabytes stratis file system and mount it at so here i reference stratis just if you go on the objective there are no stratis in those is not mentioned and uh, as there is xfs mentioned that, that's why i had the equation with stratis so i'll go here and do f disk dev sdb sdb i'll print so actually there is uh, we have already used two gigabytes and 300 megabytes so there is some gigabyte which remain so i'll create a an extended partition with the remaining steps so i'll look press n extended partitions first sector last sector i will leave the default to take the all the space if i do p you can see here there is extended partition of 2.7 gigabyte and uh, i will also create a partition on that of 2 gigabytes and so first sector okay and plus the two two gigabytes if i do p we have one partition of two gigabytes and i will write if i do f disk minus l dev stb we have uh, that partition which i'll use i'll do i'll try to run stratis so actually stratis is not installed to install that i'll use dnf minus dnf install stratis d stratis li and stratis d that is the package which you want to watch to install to manage stratis stratis d is the this dime daemon which is running on the as a, as a program on your server and stratis li provide command to manage stratis devices so it will, we will wait for it to complete
So once it's completed, the first thing which I have, I know that the Stratis run uh, came with a service Stratis D. So I must ensure that service start on both of my servers. So I'll do systemctl status Stratis D. So it's not running and it's enabled. So I'll just systemctls enable. It's all. I, as it is already enabled, like I will just confirm that by pressing enable now. But this, this so I'm, I'll be sure that after I reboot my computer, it will start. So start is D and start if I call again that command, it is running and enabled. So, okay. Now we have to create a Stratis file, Stratis pool on, on that. Partition, so I'll do Stratis pool create dev. So I'll just leave list file on f with f disk on that partition dev sdb. So it's the last one. So I'll do Stratis pool create. So I'll press help to see how. We can use so after create we specify a pool name and the block device so i'll do stratis create the name will be where it is created with uh, stratis file system on it and mount so i'll create i'll name it as users and the block device will be dev sdb5 if i do stratis pool list I will increase the size so we have a pool name user which has two gigabyte and uh, i will uh, also create a file system on that because when you want to use stratis spaces you must create file system on it as well so i'll do stratis fs or you can use you can use fs or file system it's the same fs or you can use file system it's completely the same so i do stratis fs create the name i'll just help so after that we specify the pool name and the name so we'll do stratis create the pool name will be users and uh, the file system name will be users i'll add it as user data if i do stratis fs list we have uh, we have this one uh, user data file system and uh, i will also use the uid of this uh, file system to mount it on uh, the folder which was provided i copy it put it there and i'll go and edit again fs tab Go at the end, UUID equal. So to pass that, I use Control Shift V and uh, I will mount it at uh, Mount User Data. And uh, the, so I'll increase the size. So, and uh, the file system type, it will be. The file type is uh, XFS and here or for option I'll use uh, X system D dot requires equal stratis D service and uh, zero zero. So this is to make sure stratis will be launched only after the system D service is launched. So I'll do press right Q and find mnt dash dash verify so and can reach unreachable on both required targets so actually the the folder doesn't exist so i do cut or do tell minus n it is n1 etcfs tab so this file system doesn't exist if i do ls minus l 
mount it's not this so i'll create that mkdir mount user data and now if i call again everything is okay and do mount minus a if i do df minus h so it's already mounted i'll create a file on that mount user touch sample.txt okay if i do ls minus l the file exists so that will be the end of the fourth question and the last one is uh, extended the file store volume group with all space remaining on the disk so if i do f disk minus f disk minus l dev stb so we have already used some space but there is still uh, some spaces on it so i'll go and create a there's still 0 0.7 gigabyte on that so i'll do f disk dev stb i'll create a partition on that first sector and i'll use all the remaining space print it of type linux as fisor is a volume group so that's make me think that we are we are using lvm so i'll add it as a lvm partition so i'll do t six and l i'll put eight e print we have a lvm block device type of 721 megabyte i will write that and exit and now we must extend the file store so to do that i'll vg extend file store file store i'll extend with dev so i'll check f disk minus l dev stb with the last one so i'll do vg extend file store with dev stb 6. okay it's extended if i do vg display display dev vg file store and i'll redirect all sd error at dev null so we have this file so which has now approximately one gigabyte we start firstly with 300 megabytes now it was one gigabyte and i will increase also the volume group with uh, the remaining space so i'll do lv extend dash r so i will add her to just to increase automatically to resize the file system if i don't have that i will have to do it manually so if i do vg lv display lv display uh, mm, is a file store and uh, use uh, i think i create this as file so okay i'll redirect std error to dev null so actually it is it has 250 megabytes so if i want to increase it i'll use lv extend I press help or go in the main page to see how you use that command lv extend i'll go at the end where there is some example you can go at the in the command and press example type example which will bring you directly at the list of example command so to extend you use the lv extend dash l the size which you want to, to extend and the volume group on which you want to extend or the logical volume on which you want to extend also you can use it like this plus l to plus 103 extent which exists on that uh, volume group so i'll use this one so i'll do lv extend dash r dash l plus 100 percent free on uh, file store files so as you can, i will increase this as the size of this one you can see size of logical volume change from 250 gigabyte to 1060 megabyte 
and uh, extend thread system xfs to it's extended and if i do again lv display this one you can see it has one gigabyte and i can do df minus h with that we mount it where is file store this one it does 100 gigabytes so that's okay so with that we completed the first part related to file system i'll go to the second part which is managing file server nfs server and autofs so the first question is create user olivia noah emma liam and ava and uh, on the client server so i'll go on the client server which is i'll just i'll uh, just exit on this one exit i'll do tmax minus minus t i do i will name it storage okay now i can split it like this and i'll go here on the top i'll do ssh minus l if 172 25 50 10 this is the storage server the password is password mm, sudo su dash password and uh, here i'll connect on the server one 172.25.250.11 password and uh, sudo su dash password okay i'm connected on the and now i'll create user olivia noah emma liam and ava each user should have the home directory on the user folder and uh, the client server and and each folder and each folder is exported on fs server so here the folder of the user won't reside on the client server it will be on the server so here on this client server i won't create any directory that director will be mounted using AutoFS. so for that i will do for user in uh, olivia olivia noah i'm just trying to execute the like a script liam and ava do so i'm just checking it echo user done so that's okay i can look and i'll go again and do that again do so i want to create that user user add user so i don't want to create the directors i'll press m and uh, the home directory will be in uh, user it will be on user so i'll do dash dash base d will be in uh, user so i think that will be okay i want to specify also the password which will be past open ssl ssl dash no past wdp and the password will be password i think that okay and press done so there is uh, one error so i'll increase it just to check which hero is there so Mm. so i just call that again user add mm. so i'll go on this one man user add bezier that's okay so where is the error so I'll just move that to 
so i'll go at the this task so i'll do echo this one and redirect it to oh i made an error so i got the hand and i will redirect that to the file like uh, user.sh i will change it into a script so maybe wait so i'll just remove this part and i will do that like this so the v user so if i want to be like a script i will do add a shebang on top bin bash and here i will remove that one loop on each user the username oh i made a mistake it should be dollar user so i'll just okay i can just use the script it's not a problem and here i'll press enter delete that and here i'll hat open ssl dash open ssl pass wd dash six password and that's okay so i'll go write it and i'll get to check if the hava user was created Ava mm, is not there, so I do ch mod x plus is user plus x user dot sh cat user dot sh. So it's already there, and uh, so I'll do I'll go again here and check for m option and uh, if you see m no create home dial home so okay that's okay and i'll just do dash dot dash users so that will create all users and uh, wait for it to complete okay if i do tail minus uh, five and five etc past wd so we have olivia noah emma liam and ava so i have four users created and if i check the home directory user so even the folder doesn't exist that means it didn't create the the folder and each user should have the home directory under the user folder and the client server and each folder export exported and each folder is exported on NFS server from uh, mount okay so i'll go here i'll exit so here there should be a folder name mount mkdr mount that dash slash mount users data and inside of that folder there should be a folder for each user so i'll do mkdir mount users data so there should be in a folder for olivia noah noah emma liam ava so i'll go ava I'll go at the start of that command mkdr oh i missed up okay if i do ls minus l mount user data oh there is an error so i'll just delete that RM, rf mount users and that one okay i'll call that again okay now if i do ls minus l 
dev it mounts users so there is all folder for all user and i must export the user data folder so for that i must install nfs on this one so i'll do df dnf install nfs utils dash yes which will install as well the nfs server or wait just for it to complete so there is one thing which i i forget at the end of this one there is a id of the first user so the first user must have two how 2050 but i started i leave it as by default so I'll go and change that and if i do system ctl status nfs server it's already there so i'll enable it and start it now and uh, if we check again status is started and now i'll go and export that folder v etc export so i want to export uh, the folder mount users data and now i want to export it where to the to the server one dot local dot dev server and which option read right so i had no root squash squash and sync so what this option means so the i'll just describe the meaning of that line so here we have the mount point though the export path instead the export path so we are the, the path which we want to export with an space after that we specify the the client which we connected client ip or or host name which can be resolved using dns and after that we specify option inside of double quotes options so here we have uh, we have uh, read r r w which means read write so the user which is connected can read and write file in that no root squash this means when you export a a folder with nfs so if a root user connect on that that user that root user will be by default by default is root squash so it is like this by default is root squash that user will uh, not have if you connect as a root user that root user cannot have root permission on that folder it is it will have a nobody user that will reduce the permission or privilege of the root user and if you want to keep the root user privilege from the remote server you can use root squash, root squash but by for security purpose it is recommended that you disable you not disable root squash but i will leave it like it is just for testing and right right and i will delete this one and write q so here on the host i can specify multiple host by putting it like this so i'll just increase my windows if i have many hosts i can put it like this space and put here and uh, each host with is option or i can just put export it to everything by using a star here so i'll just remove this and put star this will export this uh, file to all uh, clients we can try to connect okay i'll leave it like this save and if i do show mount e on on local host so i'll do system stl restart nfs server so I'll restart nfs server and then if i do again show mount we can see this one is exported only on for 
the server one client so i'll go here now so i said that i made a mistake i didn't create user with the right id so i'll go here and do i'll do for user so i'll just call the this command for user here i'll just do do user del minus r to delete the home directory if it exists and the user is user and done that will delete all user which i created and uh, that is because the home director doesn't exist he's just trying to remove it but he don't find it it is show an error but all user will be deleted so we'll wait for the last one and i'll go v users so here i can create a variable which i will increment, increment and or i can go in v etc login devs and i'll so just i'll just exit here and do drop minus v so to hide all line which start with dollar sign or all line which are empty on etc login login devs and i'll do less so we can see so here we have this sys min ui no that no sys we have this min user id which is which is uid min okay is this one uid min okay uid min and uid max so i'll go and edit that v etc login def uid uid so i'll scroll down mm, search for that one So here I'll add 2050, right and exit, and I'll do V, I'll just user, now I'll call that, that dot user already described again. Wait for it to complete, it's a little bit taking time, so i'll wait for it to complete and if i get hint fast wd olivia noah emma liam and ava so you can see the user id starts from 2050 200 2051 till 2054 that's okay and if i check again the user directory it doesn't exist now we have already exported the the file system here if i call again show mount it already exported and if i go here and try to use mount mount uh, or maybe i can just use show mount so for that i will have to install dnf install dash uh, yes uh, nfs utils to have show access to show mount command mm, nfs and fs utils not recognized so if i do dnf dnf repo list so repository are not configured here so i'll just uh, do i will uh, configure that quickly so the best way is to go here and do scp etc yum so just star v cvf 
repo dota of etc yam dot repo so if i do ls minus l and i'll do scp repo to eve at 172.25.50.11 i'll put it under home if director because i'm connected as a if user and i'll press yes and hand the password which will be password so it's copy so i'll go here and do scp home if repo and put it in under yum repo so i'll open that Mm, ls minus l and i can extract that xvf repo i've exported the thing if i do and i can delete that uh, ls minus l pwd ls minus l and uh, if i do tar minus t v repo okay there is no the etc what the that folder came from okay minus l minus l etc okay okay so i'll just remove every file which are prim based and repo as well and i will move everything from etc yum everything inside of this directory yes and if i do ls minus l and i can remove the etc one because when i when i create a zip file i also create a i've already did it. i also create a zip file of the entire path so okay now we have all repo if i do dnf repo list we have all repository and if i do dnf install nfs utils now it's working yes it will install So it's installing everything. We just wait for it to complete. Okay, everything is done. And if I do show mount minus E on storage dot local dot dev, it doesn't return anything. This is because on the repo on the storage server we didn't hello nfs on the file so i'll add that add service i must add for service so it is rpc mount d and and nfs and also the mount is rpc bind bind service nfs and mount d permanent is uh, cmd and if i do firewall cmd list all of it's not there so I'll do firewall reload reload and do firewall again list all so all services are there and if i do again yes show mount show i can see the mount which was exported on the storage server and now i must mount that using AutoFS. so for that i will do i will do i'll check if i have the auto mount 
auto dot master for file so it's not there i must check for that hello dnf provides etc auto dot master so it is the autofs package which provide that so i'll do dnf install dash yes autofs and uh, after the computer i'll do vtc auto dot masters and i'll go at the end and here i will add so what i want to do i want to here i have to specify the mount point and the file which will contain the map of uh, auto fs so i'll do i'll map it under user folder and here i'll do etc etc auto dot users and i'll go in v etc auto dot users and here what i will do i want to mount everything directly underneath that user so i'll do ampersand so everything which i want to access it will be replaced with by the amp the ampersand will uh, take that value and what i want to mount i want to mount storage so storage dot local local dot dev and colon slash the export path which was uh, mount users data and here i want to put m percent i just reverse the order here it should be star so i want everything which i will try to access will be put here so if i want to access an uh, emma folder the m percent will be replaced by emma if i want to access olivia folder the all the ampersand will be replaced by olivia so i'll write it and i'll do system ctl restart auto fs and actually it isn't not it is not enabled auto fs so i'll do as you can see it is not enabled i will enable that by using system ctl enable dash dash now auto fs okay and now if i try just to do i will just check to mount it i will do mount no i won't mount i just try to access it i will do um, i'll connect with as a user anna so su su, su dash anna so user anna does not exist or user and it does not contain all required field so oh anna is not there is olivia olivia so it take long as you can see i'm already connected and if i do ls minus l p if i do pwd i'm handed the user olivia direct which was where, where was not present previously and if i do df minus h you can see the olivia folder is mounted by auto fs i will exit and do the same with another user like emma if i do df minus h you can see emma is also also mounted so the advantage of auto fs is the fact that it mount automatically every folder which you try to access also it unmounted after some sometimes and uh, i would also just one problem with this one if i try to use touch sample.txt i'm not able to write what is the main the cause of that it's because simply because here i'll just go here if i go ls minus l mount users data so here the user the folder each folder belong to emma to root user and not to the other user we want to access so to fix that what i can do is to use ch on so as the first user was uh, so i'll do get int pass wd olivia noah emma 
Liam Ava. And I'll go here and do CH own plus the that user ID for that one. That one is uh, is 20, 2050. This one is for Olivia Mount user data Olivia. So that's if I use this one again. So Olivia is belonging to the user with that UID and that group. And uh, I'll do the same for the other user. So here it will be Noah. Noah will be 51. I'll go with Emma. Emma and 52. And uh, after Emma is Liam, 53, 53. And the last one is, uh, is Ava, which will be 54. And now if I go here to exit and I'll reconnect again, touch sample.txt. And now, as you can see, I can now create file on that folder. That is the main trick which you have to be very careful when you are configuring this type of story. So with that say that it's completed for the mount auto F mount NF manage NFS server and auto FS. And the last part will be to manage share folder. So here, the question we start with, to make user Olivia Noah, member of group accounting, and Emma and Liam, member of procurement. So I'll do, I'll just do, I can do it using a script or I can use it, so I'll do that. So I'll v, mm, v, so, uh, I, I must exit and go as the use user v cd v groups dot sh bin bash so first thing which i have to do is create the use the group so i'll do group add procurement and group add accounting and I have to add Olivia and Noah member of accounting. So I'll do for user Oli in Olivia Noah do done. I'll do user mode user dash G and G will be procurement so for Olivia and Noah is uh, accounting not procurement accounting accounting and uh, for for which user again for Emma Emma and Liam is uh, procurement procurement and so that will be whole and also i have to create share folder so i'll do here i will just do everything from this from the script mkdr data procure so i'll do it like this procurement and accounting you will just had echo create or do create uh, share directory directory here it will be echo create create users and ima and Liam and here it will be 
create user Olivia and Noah and here it will be create echo create groups one thing which i have to do is to add to evolve to add those output of each command so i'll just do here i'll redirect everything to so I'll redirect everything to dev no no you as well dev no your user had our redirect as well dev no be again dev no so with redirection to make everything not to not have the output so dev no and uh, the other part is to each user should be each uh, each user should be able to delete his own file and not file for other users so i'll leave my script from here right and exit i'll do ch mod plus x groups if i do get int group procurement and accounting there is no dot group and now i execute groups group dot sh um, ls minus l group i don't have um, execution access or ch mode user plus x and group and now i can call that so create group it create the two groups create user olivia and hanoa that is the output of my script which i've created previously and if i do again so you can see on procurement we have hema and yam and on accounting we have olivia and noah that's okay and if i do ls minus l data we have folder procurement and accounting and now it said each user should be able to delete his own file that means we must set the sticky bit the sticky bit allow each user to delete only if the file which is he created so i'll do ch mode order plus t on data accounting or maybe i can just add start if i do ls minus l data here we have t which is for sticky bit and if i do like i stood dash emma emma which is member of uh, procurement so i'll do cd emma so i just forgot to do one thing if i do ls minus l data and also file create in each share folder should be grouped on that means uh, every group should own their own folder so ch mode no ch change group ch group of uh, for accounting to on accounting on uh, data accounting if i do ls minus l data it belongs to accounting and if i change the same for procurement data procurement ls minus l ls minus l on on data so each folder belong to the group and we have also the last one user ever should have full right on all folders that means full right that means that user must have must be able to delete any file even the rustic bit that user must be able to delete that and for that i can just put that ever user as the owner of those directors so i'll just say own mm. 
avoir un data everything divided by ls minus l data so ava is the owner and we have those now i can test to confirm all my settings are okay so for that i'll go and do su dash emma touch emma is in procurement of data procurement simple dot txt no i'll do emma file one dot txt so there is uh, one problem i must exit and do ls minus l data so the group owner doesn't have right access so i must do ch mode ch mode group equal read write execute on data counting i'll do just on everything and also the other user it should leave i should leave like this and if i do hema su dash hema and now i do touch or i'll do echo first first file of hema and redirect that to data procurement ema is in procurement ema underscore file one dot txt so ema can create a file in that and if i do ls minus l data procurement so actually the file doesn't belong to the group so i'll just exit for that i must configure the the group id sets group id so i'll do ch mode group plus s on data everything and now if i do again emma and uh, do that again ls minus l data procurement oh i must delete that file first mm, data procurement so i delete it and now if i do again that ls minus l data procurement emma so the file belongs to emma and it belongs also to the group procurement i'll fix it i'll do the same with uh, olivia dash olivia which is a member of accounting i'll do touch no i'll do echo first first file of olivia redirect that to data accounting olivia underscore file one dot txt and if i do ls minus l data procurement data procurement no is accounting so the four file belong to olivia and to the group accounting and now i can check to delete if i can delete the file or no so i'll create another file with olivia second file olivia second file i'll go at the end it will be file two and now if i try to delete file which was created by emma data procurement emma so permission denied so that means i cannot delete it but if i do r minus f data accounting on uh, on olivia file one or did file two that file can be deleted and if i exit and uh, connect as uh, ava and do touch first file of ava redirect to data procurement ava file one ava file one dot txt it work and if i go also in uh, accounting 
file to here it work as well so ava can write in both directory and now we'll check to delete rf data accounting in um, olivia so he can delete olivia files and i'll check also with uh, procurement procurement here is emma You can also delete file for Emma in the, the procurement folder. So that's all question which I have to practice for the objective create and configure file system of the Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam. So this is the question which I came out with. You can take this question, as I said in my previous video, you can take it and tweak it and change it like you want to make it a little bit stronger. As it's stronger, you practice more, you gain more knowledge and you will be confident to practice different topics at the exam. I will leave the link for the, third, the previous video on the, under the description and uh, that will be all for this video. If you like it, you can leave a like button. Or you can click the like button to give a like. Also, you can leave a comment underneath this video. So, thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video. Thanks.